Hey, I'm Alex, I'm the Digi Destin, and we're back on an adventure with the Digivice Colour here at Dragon Eye Lake, and we've partnered with Gatomon. So in the last episode, we had just entered Tokyo. Well, I've now pretty much cleared Tokyo, and throughout Tokyo, that's where we made friends with Gatomon. Uh, unfortunately, wasn't filming it, but yeah, you just kind of beat one of them, and Gatomon joined your crew, which is kind of cool. So yeah, we just got to boost up her bond so that she can digivolve so that we've got a chance against the last boss of this area. So let's do it. The vital bracelet says hi. Onwards. What a boss to find a Dragon Eye Lake. Mega Seedramon. It's a button bash. We're going left-handed. So Gatamon, let's do this. Neko Punchy. Lightning Paw. Lightning Javelin. Here we go. Pink LEDs flashing for Kari, which is kind of cool. That's two damage off Mega Seedramon. Mimi's rocking up. Girl, bit of girl power. Flower Cannon. Buzzing. Soz Mega Seedramon. Cool, so we've got one more to fill up. I hope that's one more battle, but I don't know. I think as it gets to higher stages, it's more pa battles per thing. So we'll have to see. But hopefully that's just one more. Let's do this. So yeah, I have made loads of progress on this, but I've also been trying to take it slow because it's been ages since the last video. And I didn't want to get too far, but I have unlocked loads of cool stuff that I'm going to show you throughout this video. Uh, so yeah, stick around and... Let's explore the digital world. Here he is, Vandemon, also known as Myotismon. It's a sequence battle, so we can't digivolve yet, so we've got to go in as Gatamon, but hopefully this will be the one that unlocks the evolution. Lightning Paw! Crimson Lightning! Here we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, cool. Support attack from Pumpkin Man. Nice to meet you here, dude. Only seems right that he gets a little bit of revenge after what happened in Adventure. Come on, Gatamon, let's do this. Grizzly Wing. Yeah, like a boss. Sick. Come on, give us that digivolution. Nope. So let's just check the bond again. I assume it's still the same. Yeah, so maybe one more. Let's see. In amongst all this greenery, the ultimate camouflage for Tuskman. got an item is his laptop or the digimon analyzer where's my digivolution go on sneemon let's go ah oh, sequence battle i'll do this off camera and rejoin you once i've kicked his ass okay this has got to be it this has got to be it this will be four battles Yes! Digivolution unlocked. And your woman. Sick. Now we can set sail for the boss of this area, which is... Venom by Otis Bond.
diddle 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 do Venom Iotis Mon. It's a sequence battle. My first time seeing it on this device. Wow, wow, we are very nice. And your woman, sick. Prepare knee cam. Celestial arrow. Sorry for the shakiness. The rest should be nice and steady, though. Here we go. Big creepy crotch demon. Yeah, he's five again. I think the boss is a five, so don't get caught out by that. There we go, first one's a hit. There's Pumpkin Mom with Trick or Treat. Look at that pumpkin attack, it is so good. One damage, okay, one more, Andrew Woman, one more. Let's do this. Here we go. Ace, well done, Gatomon. And now he's our friend. Look at him, he's literally the devil and he's our friend. Okay, here's the outro cutscene thing. Oh, we've unlocked a new area. Spiral Mountain. That's cool, the way it literally goes up it, that is sick. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can find Gabumon. And for this one, let's change partners, because I've got some seriously cool stuff to show you with... Agumon. Sick. Well, I'm sure it said we was looking for Gabumon, but we found Kari and Gatomon. That definitely said Gabumon. Kari's worried as well. She was like, I was a Gabumon a minute ago. Gatomon's concerned for Kari's mental health. Agamon says, put yourself together. And everyone's fine. Oh, heck. Straight into Metal Seedramon. Ah, I know what's happened. So, event one should be Gatomon, but because when we selected it, we had Gatomon, it gave us Gabumon. So then when we picked Agumon, it put it back to Gatomon again. That, that's what's happened. Mystery solved. Anyway, Metal Seedramon, we're coming for you. Oh, and we've got TK and a hamster as well. So, we're ready for war. We are ready for war. I want to say all the months after having this device, I am still well and truly in the honeymoon phase with it. It's been killing me not making these videos because I've really wanted to power on through it. And I just keep replaying certain areas and stuff. I think I've unlocked all the evolutions now. I think there's bound to be some things I've missed, but you know, yeah, this device was worth every penny to me. I know it is an expensive thing and there was loads of issues with like the shipping and the stocking and all that kind of stuff, your classic Bandai shenanigans. But for me, it was all entirely worth it. Uh, I just hope whatever they do with the Digivice color next, that they do it a little bit better in terms of business because the business module for this one sucked. But the product itself is amazing. And yeah, no regrets. <laughs> so yeah, pretty buzzing with that. Ah, a nice peaceful spot by the lake. 
Oh God, it's Metal Seedramon. It's a sequence battle. Prepare Nikan. It's time to bring out the big guns. Ladies and gentlemen, War Greymon. This is especially cool because Agumon warp digivolves to War Greymon to beat Metal Seedramon in the show. Look how good that looks. So good. Those 3D models blew my mind as a kid. Those were absolute peak anime graphics back then. And they still look sick today. Look how good that is. War oh, Greymon. So effective. Let's do this. Nova Force. River of Power. Here we go. Just four. Okay, that's cool. I can live with that. Only two damage. The Dark Masters ain't messing. Here's TK and Patamon in backup. But once again, we've got Magna Angelon. Heaven's Gate. How'd you like that, Metal Siege Man? Whoa! Magna Angemon doing more damage than War Greymon. Don't know how I feel about that, but either way, we won, so I'm happy. How cool was that Warp Digivolution? Another area clear. And now he's our buddy. Welcome to the team, mate. Ooh. Unlocked a Syria secret area as well. Nice. And to celebrate beating one of the Dark Masters, it's time for... Pack of the day, back on pack of the day. We've got Secret Crisis, BT-17. These have been really hard to find in the UK. There's still massive stock issues in the UK and it's only getting worse. Uh, no excuse, no excuse for it whatsoever. Anyway, here we go. We've got Shredded Greymon, Labramon. Just chucking that on the floor. We've got Agumon. This is the edgy Agumon from Ghost Game that they teased us about all season and then did nothing with. <laughs> There's Bulkmon, rest in peace, the Vital Bracelet. There's Pip uh, Pipismon, Pepsimon. We got Terriamon looking adorable. We got Eosmon. We got Awakening of the Sun. We've got Minami Yuhilie. We've got the Doomsday Clock. That's hella cool fresh out of the Digimon our war game movie we got Parasite Mon fresh out of one of the Digimon Tamers movies and oh nice super rare Armageddon Mon looking fresh he is cool ain't he buzzing Okay, so here's another tiny, tiny little nitpick thing. One thing I don't like that I hope they improve on in the next thing is that when you select your next mission, you can see who it is. I don't know. I kind of get it because it's like, oh, this is the Machine Jumon fight. Get ready. But also, I don't know. It'd be probably a bit cooler if that was at least like a silhouette or something until at least you've cleared it. I get it why once you've already cleared it because you can go back and be like okay i want to fight machine Dramon or whatever but i think for the first time it would have been better to keep it a bit of a surprise again there's not really any surprises in this if you do know the original adventure story but still i don't know just a super minor thing but whatever anyway we've teamed up with izzy and tentamon and we're ready to take on machine Dramon. let's rock so a bit of a, a bit of a life update now this might be the last outdoors one for a while i mean to be fair there hasn't been one for ages anyway but i finally got a date for my surgery and at the time of recording this it's tomorrow so this surgery is something on my leg i'm not going to go into gory details or whatever but uh yeah i'm there's quite a bit of recovery time so the chances are the channel will continue to be quiet for the next couple of months however it may mean the other way because obviously i'm going to be laid up in that so i might be able to you know find a way of making some videos just while i'm laid up or whatever but we'll just have to wait and see think everything's up in the air at the minute so i'm trying not to plan too far ahead because it's all out of my control anyway so all that's going to do is stress me out or whatever 
machine Digimon's here and the vital bracelet's going it's all happening they're all like sure up and get on with Digimon <laughs> um, so yeah it's all up in the air and out of my control at the minute I've just kind of got to go with the flow and do as I'm told so we'll just see how it is I'm really hoping that I can use this time to actually get loads of videos done but chances are I'm going to be very groggy and very unwell and whatever. Uh, I'll be all right, though. Uh, I've got my missus and my kids to look after me, and I've got good friends and good family, so I'm very, very fortunate. So I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. But I just wanted to give you a heads up that things could be quiet, or if they're not quiet, things might be a bit different. Either way, I always appreciate your patience. I know it's been quiet again recently, and it breaks my heart when I can't do this because this is my one and only hobby. But just that's just life in it. I mean, I'm grateful I can do this at all because I know there's a lot of people that can't. So, yeah, I just want to say thanks for your patience all the time. Thanks for all your love and support and everything over the years. It's all always meant so much to me. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Anyway, let's do this. So here we are against Machine Dramon. Button bash, nice. That's my kind of battle. So we've shown you War Greymon. And I'm aware that War Greymon also killed Machine Dramon in the show. But this time I want to show you Skull Greymon. I've unlocked him for ages. I've just not had a chance to show you on the channel. But check this out. How freaking cool is that? I love how the music starts off right and then just something goes wrong. It just feels so sinister. And even the little growl that he does is so good. They really nailed the school Graham on evolution. And even that background, the battle music's different. Oh no. Right, we're gonna have to do the Digital Dream 09 technique. So we're going to hold it in place with this hand and then we're going to bash with this hand. It's better if it's on a flat surface than just holding it, but we'll just see. There we go. There we go, we got it. School Greymon versus Machine Dramon. What an absolutely chaotic battle that would be. Is, is he coming to help out with Mega Carbon Terrible? Horn Buster. He only did two. Interesting. Oblivion Bird. A dark shot. Giga Cannon. They could have voiced the Dark Masters. Yes, there we go. Well done, School Greymon. Also, on the day of recording this, we've actually had a teaser for some news. So I'm sure we're about to get way more information about this. The more information might even be out before this video comes out. But either way, I've got to talk about it. They've announced the next crossover. So they've announced that it's going to be a Godzilla one. So it's a Digimon Color V-Pet crossover with Godzilla, which I called it. <laughs> but let's be honest, it was a very obvious choice. And it does look like it's going to be sick. Uh, there's this teaser of a uh, new crossover Digimon. It looks like War Greymon meets Godzilla, and it looks amazing. A few other points of note that we've got so far. It's back to the 16x16 16 16 sprites, and it looks like it could be just a recolor of the original version 5 roster, which, as you may know, was originally going to be a Godzilla one. Then it turned into Digimon, and now it looks like they're recoloring it again to turn it back into Godzilla, which is, I don't know, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. And the most exciting part of that is that they tease what looks like the close-up feature in color so the close-ups like we got on the digimon x and the pendulum z looks like they're doing that and that's very exciting i do hope this is it for the crossovers though i'm very worried about them diluting digimon too much i think it's good for them to be trying to bring in fans of other franchises to the digital world but they could do that anyway just by marketing their products better because what we've got here is freaking ace and i know from the bottom of my heart that any nerd that likes monsters will love Digimon if they give it a chance. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of torn on the situation with the collabs, but I'm also a diehard Digimon fan, so I'm very, very used to that it's better than no kind of feeling. <laughs> so 
yeah hype to see more information on it and buzzing to hear what you guys think i'm definitely going to be pre-ordering them because godzilla is mint digimon is mint and this device should be pretty cool yeah it's piximon hey up piximon oh this is interesting something slightly different I switched our partners with Gabamon, by the way, because obviously we've unlocked some stuff with Gabamon that I've not shown you yet. So here's Gabamon meeting up with Piximon. Piximon's training us up, I assume, telling us that we're not ready for the Dark Masters or whatever, or maybe we are ready for the Dark Masters. I don't know. He's just mentoring us, being an absolute geezer. What's next? Make friends with Picklemon. Sounds delicious. What's it gonna be? Of course, it's a shake uh, sequence battle. So, something cool for Gabamon, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Warp Digivolution. That looks unreal, doesn't it? Never thought in a million years we'd get this in a Digivice. That is so sick. Metal Garuban. Metal Wolf Claw. Oh, Kokaita's Breath. Trump Sword. Yeah, back up the attack from Nanimon. <laughs> Look how glorious he looks. Look at those kissy lips. Throwing off the sludge, looking sick. Good on you, Nanimon. Guru Tomahawk. Here we go. Nailed it. It's a great spot for pack of the day. One more pack, one more pack for the road because we've not done pack of the day for ages. Okay, last one for now. It's Mephistamon looking spooky. We got Flamemon looking like a Pokemon card. We got Burning Greymon, Argomon. We got Beowulfmon. Antilamon tribute to Milk Pixel. We've got Trailmon tribute to Trailmon Virgil on Instagram. We've got Shaomon, Crimson Savior, Gallopmon Crimson Mode looking sick. We've got Argomon. We've got Davis and Ken from the movies, actually. That's really cool. And Sakuyamon. That's awesome. That's beautiful. And so, as you can see, the sun is setting on another Digimon adventure. It actually looks lighter on the camera than it does in real life. It's actually quite dim. It's just my phone's being all swanky in it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I had hoped to get this whole area cleared in this video, but that's not to be. We finished the last area and we finished most of this area. It looks like it's pretty much just the Dark Masters. Um, I'll save the last boss for the channel. So, yeah, uh, we'll just carry on when my legs better or after the surgery or whatever whatever the universe decides we're just going to go with the flow and see what happens and anyway yeah i'll catch you after the surgery and we will continue digimoning into the digital world together for the glory of digimon uh, yeah thank you so much for watching thanks for your patience thanks for everything thanks for your love and support over the years you're all the absolute best you've made my digital dream come true so yeah from me 
and gab them on. Stay safe, stay ace, keep rocking. Peace.